Hey guys, in today's video, let's take a look at the Sustainable Development Goals for Team Life Below Water. So in case you don't know what Sustainable Development Goals means, it is the 17th goals that will make the world a better place. And the reason why I chose Goals for Teens Life Below Water is because I love the ocean and I feel like we should all contribute to make the ocean a better place and to reduce marine pollution. So in today's speech, my speech will be divided into five parts. The first is what's the goal, second why it matters, third the targets, fourth are people taking these goals seriously or are they just saying it, and finally the message. What's the goal here of life below water? The goal is to conserve and sustainably use the world's oceans, seas, and marine resources. We have to use them sustainably and do not overuse marine resources. So that's the goals of 14th, life below water. And why it matters? Over 3 billion people depend on marine and coastal biodiversity. Just to clarify, normally we pay too much attention on life on land, which is the land that humans are living in. But what about the sea creatures? The sea creatures are living below water. What about them? We pay too little attention to life below water, and most importantly, the sea creatures. And also, over 3 billion people depend on marine. They are fully dependent on marine and coastal biodiversity for their livelihoods. Why is this? Because normally in some fishing village, those fishers, fishmongers, they depend on their job. So what will happen to them if there aren't any marine and coastal biodiversity? So these over 3 billion people depend on them. And also, ocean provide key natural resources, including food, medicines, biofuels, and other products. They help with the breakdown and removal of waste and pollution. Maintaining healthy oceans supports climate change mitigation and adaption efforts. My question for you guys is that, have you ever been to the seaside? It's also a great place for tourism and recreation. So if you've been to the seaside, you must go there. It is such a place that you will not, will never miss. Because seaside is an awesome place for tourism and recreation. Even more, marine protected areas contribute to poverty reduction by increasing fish catches and income and improving health. They also help improve gender equality as women do much of the work at small scale fisheries. The marine environment is also home to a stunning variety of beautiful creatures, ranging from single-celled organisms to the biggest animal ever to have lived on Earth, the blue whale. They are also home to coral reefs, one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. So those are the reasons why life below water does matter, and we should save life below water. And that's why Goal 14, Life Below Water, is needed. This includes 10 targets people are aiming to make the life below water a better place. So now, I'll give a brief introduction of those 10 targets. Target 14.1, Reduce Marine Pollution by 2025. So what does this mean? By 2025, we have to prevent and significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds, in particular from land-based activities, including marine debris and nutrient pollution. Because nowadays, marine pollution happens mostly because of human activities. So scientists and the government promise the resident that by 2025, they will reduce marine pollution. Target 14.2, protect and restore ecosystems by 2020. Now, please pay attention to the number 
by 2020 because this will link to my next part of my speech. So by 2020, sustainably manage and protect marine and coastal ecosystems to avoid significant adverse impacts, including by strengthening their resilience and take actions. So we need to protect and restore ecosystem by 2020. Target 14.3, reduce ocean acidification. We need to minimize and address the impacts of ocean acidification, including through enhanced scientific cooperation at all levels. So imagine if our world, life on land, have acidification and our air is polluted, then we will be sick or have some kind of disease, right? But we do not care about the sea creatures. The sea creatures have feeling too. And if the ocean is polluted, then fish or sea creatures will surely die. So we need to reduce ocean acidification. Target 14.4, sustainable fishing, also by 2020, now. So this needs to be done about two years ago, since now is 2022. And please pay attention to some target that they said this will be done by 2020. Sustainable fishing means that we have to fish sustainably. So for example, we overuse fishing. It can be a problem, so we need to effectively regulate harvesting and end overfishing. End overfishing, illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, and destructive fishing practices, and implement science-based science management plans in order to restore fish stocks in the shortest time, feasible at least to levels that can produce maximum sustainable yield as determined by their biological characteristic. So we need to stop, to end overfishing. That's the goal, and this needs to be done by 2020, so two years ago. Target 14.5, conserve coastal and marine areas, also by 2020. So conserve at least 10% of coastal and marine areas consistent with national and international law. So we need to conserve coastal and marine areas by 2020. Target 14.6 and subsidize contributing to overfishing by 2020. People overfish and they even use subsidizes, a dangerous liquid. Subsidizes is like a dangerous liquid that people use sometimes. Fishers use to overfishing because fish are attracted by subsidizes and and subsidizes contributing to overfishing also by 2020. Target 14.7 increase the economic benefits from sustainable use of marine resources by 2030. So this will be done for about eight more years to come. Instead of increase the drawbacks, why don't we increase the economic benefits from sustainable use of marine resources? Do not use marine resources for bad reasons. Use them for the economic benefits. Target 14.8, increase scientific knowledge, research, and technology for ocean health. We can save a lot of lives and sea creatures from this target. Target 14.9, support small scale fishers. So for example, in some fishing village, they live by this job. They depend on their job, which is fishing. So if we don't support them and we ban them from small scale fishers, from small scale fishing, then their village will be very bad and the conduct of their village will be worse and soon enough, they will be homeless. So we need to support small scale fishers. And lastly, target 14A is implement and enforce international sea law. What does this mean? We have to enhance the conservation and sustainable use of ocean and the resources by implementing the international law. So that's all the target. But why I said that we need to pay attention to the number by 2020 is that my next part 
Are people taking these goals seriously or are they just saying it? Because if they take these goals seriously, then all of those marine pollution will probably disappear by now because when they said and subsidize contributing to overfishing means that if there's no subsidize under the ocean, then marine pollution will probably be reduced a lot. And they also said by 2020. So that means for over two years, nothing has changed, right? Marine pollution still happens and it is just the way they are. If people take these goals seriously, then the marine pollution or the environment, the ocean environment will be better and better. But the government just say that. They did not take these goals seriously. Even though when people set up these targets, marine pollution still happened. And marine pollution happened because of human activities. Take an example from our own country. Vietnam is the fourth country in the world in terms of marine litter pollution, especially plastic waste. In some estuaries and coastal areas of our country, oil pollution, domestic waste, mangrove forests are flooded with plastic bags, etc. In addition, solid waste in daily life on the sea of our country falls about 14.3 million tons a year, and this happens seasonally and occasionally. So imagine 14.3 million tons of trash, especially plastic waste a year, are thrown under the ocean. Then us humans are so arrogant and selfish, and we do not care a thing for the sea creatures. So what's even the point? My question for the government is what's the point of making up these targets and do not do them? If you make up these targets, soon enough, those targets are just words and sentence and do not have any value. So my message for all of you is that be a wise man. Ocean is not a garbage can and save our ocean. Because if you care about your future, then you would care about the ocean too, since ocean is ocean and garbage can is different from ocean. Garbage can is a place for trash only, so please be a wise man. So thank you for listening and Merry Christmas. Today is actually Christmas. Bye!